Hi, my name is Boris, and in today's video, I'm about to show you a rarely used technique in Ableton Live, which is using Simpler as a synthesizer with single cycle waveforms. It's a very simple technique, it's super fun, and opens up your possibilities to a few new timbres. First of all, let's listen to some patches you can make with this technique. <laughs> And the device that we're going to be using today is this PML single cycle synthesizer that you see over here. And it's going to be available as well as this PML lo-fi rack as a free download. So make sure to head into the description to check it out. Before we get into the details, if you like what we are doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more Ableton Live tips like this one. We've got a lot more coming up. And if you'd like to learn sound design a little bit more in depth, check out our sound design courses. The link is also in the description. All right, so let's get started. First of all, let's discuss what single cycle waveforms actually are. So a single cycle waveform, as the name suggests, is a single cycle, a very sharp snippet of sound. And this actually can be found in any sample. If we get into sample packs, just choose the first sample that comes up. It's a top loop and we can drag it onto a new track. If we zoom into any part where it, there is sound, uh, you are going to find single cycles. And you can use different software to make these different kinds of single cycle waveforms, save them and put them into samplers in order to use these samplers as synthesizers. Because then in the sampler, you can loop this single cycle waveform and create a continuous tone, which can later be modified with different parameters like a filter, an envelope on the amplifier or on the filter, or you can add LFOs and all kinds of other stuff. Because that's what a synthesizer does. It takes a certain very short snippet of a sound, for example, a saw wave, square wave, triangle wave, or a sine wave, and it loops it over and that creates the continuous tone. That is the foundation of all other work we do in a synthesizer. And one very surgical way of creating single cycle waveforms is going into a, something called a single cycle waveform editor. And that's a free tool available online. Here it is, you will find the link to it in the description. And this is super easy to use. All you need to do is just click in it, sine. This is a sine wave in a triangle. This is going to be a triangle, square, so, and so on. And you can just go to file, render sample, and that is going to allow you to download this single cycle waveform of a saw wave or anything else you make. You can add all kinds of crazy modulations and changes to these single cycle waveforms, as well as some crazier parameters over here. So this tool is super easy to use. And all I did in this device that I'm showing you right here is I loaded up four kinds of shapes. So twice a saw wave, a square and a triangle. And this way I created a very simple synthesizer. But first of all, let's maybe get a sample like this. For example, let's take a square and we can download it, go to file, render sample. And now if we put it onto a new MIDI track, for example, let's put it here. If you play it, you're not even going to hear much because it's just a very short snippet. We need to first of all, loop it and now it's going to be a continuous tone but it's very bright and we can use all kinds of other parameters in this simpler device to shape it first of all we can use a filter amp envelope to make the sound shorter we can add some lfo and you can really customize the single cycles that you put into it. Before we continue, a very quick word from our sponsor, Production Music Live. Hi, this video is sponsored by us. If you like these tutorials and want to support the channel, check out our website packed with online courses and professional sound packs. If you want to cut years of your learning curve, check the PML Beginner to Advanced Music Production program for Ableton Live. You will know Ableton inside out and learn how to write, produce, mix and master complete tracks. You learn step by step at your own speed, from an empty file to professional production, as if we're sitting side by side in the studio. 
Thank you for listening. And now let's get back to your tutorial. Let's go back to our basic rack here. Let's go over different parameters that are available for us here. We are just using the parameters that are available in Simpler. So we have an AMP envelope, a filter envelope, an LFO that is doing some vibrato, and we're using some other parameters as well. The most important control here would be this oscillator shape knob which actually allows you to change between different types of waveforms. If you turn on this info view here and hover your mouse over this first box, you are going to see what exactly is inside. As it says, number one is a single saw wave, and it sounds like this. And then we have a two voice unison saw wave. And that's a bit chorusy already. And then we have number three, a square. And number four, a triangle. All right. And this unison spread control, as it says here, is only active in mode two. So it actually only allows you to create a small unison saw wave. So if we go to two, we can use this knob. The next knobs are the ADSR controls here. We don't have the release control, but that's mapped onto the decay because mapping the release for the, both the amp and filter envelope would take two more knobs and I wanted to make it a bit simpler. Here we have attack, both for the amplifier and filter. We have decay, separate parameters for the filter and amp, and then we have sustain. Let's just continue. Here we have a filter frequency knob, and this is one of the most important knobs in any synth. Basically, this allows us to open up and close the filter. This is the filter contour, which tells the filter how much the envelope needs to be applied. If we go all the way down, then there is no envelope. And if we increase it, we are adding the envelope. Okay, and then there's the resonance. Which adds that characteristic timbre. And we have vibrato, which basically adds a bit of wobble here. Then we, there's drive, filter drive. Which just adds a bit of grit. And then there's a global volume control as well. So it's super easy to use for basic sounds. It allows you to quickly make all kinds of sounds that you need. And it's not very heavyweight because I programmed that in a way that if you switch over to another oscillator, all the other simplers are deactivated. So it shouldn't take up too much of your CPU. Another part of what is really crucial when designing sounds would be the effects. And for this tutorial, I made this PML lo-fi rack, which you can use along with the synth or with anything else. It's a bit of a native Ableton version of an RC20 VST. And it basically allows you to add some wow and flutter, which basically is a bit like vibrato, but a bit more analog style. And here's what it sounds like. I can exaggerate that a bit. Flutter is much faster so that it creates the fluctuation and pitch. Let's go back. Uh, here we have drive. We have reverb. We have a filter, a low pass filter. And we have some noise from erosion. So this is a really nice combination and I really encourage you guys to check it out and play with it. Of course, you can design your own synthesizer by using different single cycle waveforms. You're totally not limited to these three shapes that I just picked out. But I wanted to create something a bit more classic. If you're into different timbers, of course, you can use the single cycle waveform editor to create something that is your own.
And also, as in Live 11, we have these cool new changes to the racks. You can actually add um, your own presets here. For example, if I change something, I can click on new and rename this preset and then we have a new preset saved over here. And it comes with just four very basic presets so you can quickly get a sense of what sounds are possible with this rack. Okay, that would be it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you found this these racks useful for you. Make sure to check out our online courses. These are for both beginners and more advanced producers. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Write us a comment if you enjoyed the video and uh, I will see you in the next ones.